here we are day seven a little breezy so hopefully that doesn't ruin my audio on here happens to be Mother's Day today happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there you know I have a lot to be grateful for today I've had a lot of really inspiring and influencing women in my life starting with my own mother she's been a very good example and guide to me when it comes to my spiritual life I'm trying to keep that together and you know stay on the path towards morality and righteousness and trying to be following the Savior's example trying to be a you know a disciple of Jesus Christ which is an important part of my life and she's always been there to uh, prompt me in that direction so I'm extremely grateful for her and she's been always been very nurturing and hardworking. I learned a lot of hardworking skills from my both my parents and they're very hardworking people. And having a father who was very hardworking, but also having a mother who's very hardworking has really instilled with me what that can do for you in your life. Uh, another mother in my life that's been a, a huge example to me is my, my grandmother, Mary. She's also been an example and a guide to me in that spiritual realm and just having that wholesomeness in my life. My Aunt Natalie, she's also been a great example to me. And um, the amount of charity and just pure love that she shows to people is truly incredible. She uh, She's done a lot of things for a lot of people. And it's been very inspiring. Um, taking a lot of people into her house and just been a, a good loving person and then I have my own wife who again is just a really good example of being a hard worker being dedicated and just a really good example of trying to do better and be a better person and I couldn't ask for a better spouse or partner And then my mother-in-law, who I'm very grateful to have in my life, has also been a, a big blessing in my life. She's one of those people that will listen to you and always shows interest in the things you're doing. And I've had the fortune of knowing her since I was a teenager, just growing up close to her, my wife and her family. And... Uh, even as teenagers, I remember her being just interested in what we were doing and being a participant in our lives growing up. And I'm very grateful for that. Um, my sister, she's always been fun and fun, a fun person to be around and very happy and bubbly and also very very smart she just completed her master's program and she's just again an example of hard work I mean I know a lot of times we look for that male example in our lives to be that hard-working example but honestly I, I do have quite a few male role models that I look up to but 
there are far more hardworking women that I know in my life. Sorry, try not to get too emotional, but there's far more hardworking women in my life that have set that example for me. And that's been very inspiring. And if any of you guys are watching this, thank you. You guys have helped me become the man that I am now. And uh, I'm grateful that my kids get to grow up around you and also get to get receive uh, that example. Um, so just today on Mother's Day and every day, just show those women in your life how much you love and care about them. Which is also leads me to a point of gratitude. Don't be afraid to be grateful for things. It'll make you a better person and it'll put things into perspective for you. Just an ounce of gratitude goes a long ways. And then it'll put things into perspective of what you can do to change and what you can do to increase your life and what you can do to have a little perspective. There's a lot of things to be grateful for. Even in hard times and in rough situations, it's harder to do. And I admire those people that go through really, really bad situations and come out with a positive attitude because of gratitude. Be grateful for what you've got. You've if you're starting from scratch, like I felt like I did, you know, these last couple of years, be grateful that you can get up and move. Be grateful that you can start and do the right thing. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your family. Anyway, I'm going to keep this one short today, but just remember to be grateful. Give your wife or your girlfriend or your partner a kiss, a good slap on the butt. Let her know you love her. Be a good man. Keep, keep pushing and working hard. Spend time with your family today and reflect and be grateful. We don't have to just be grateful on these holidays. It's good to be grateful every day of the year. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless America.